Welcome to the tutorial, Create a Calculation View with Differential Privacy in SAP HANA Cloud. This is a tutorial in the group, Create Calculation Views in SAP HANA Cloud. In this tutorial, we will use differential privacy to anonymize confidential data in a calculation view. You will learn how to create calculation views of type cube using SAP Business Application Studio, you will also learn how to configure data masking to a column in order to protect sensitive data. Now the prerequisites of this tutorial are that you have completed the previous tutorials in this series, uh, particularly the, uh, the group that contained the Create an SAP HANA Database project, as we are going to continue with that existing project and add more database artifacts to it. So using what we learned in the previous tutorials, we want to create another database table and load sample data into it. Uh, but we aren't going to necessarily in the exercises give you detailed step-by-step -step instructions. We want to you to extrapolate on what you have already learned. Although I have to do the steps here in this video. So I guess if you get stuck uh, um, doing these on your own, you, you can watch the rest of this video uh, or this part of the video to get the detailed steps. Um, but I want to start by creating a new database table. Um, so I'm going to come here and actually I'm going to go ahead and use the palette, find command, create database artifact, I'm going to create it in the data folder, and I'm going to create a new table. So I'm going to create an HDB table and I need to name it TGT salaries and say create. There we are, and we'll replace that with the uh, code that we were given in the tutorial itself, which will create TGT salaries table. Uh, we're defining uh, our uh, columns, their data types, Comments, primary key. There we are, that looks good. We'll save that. And now we also want to load data into this table. So let's go ahead and go to our loads folder where we put the previous uh, data loads and let's create a new file. And I'm gonna call this salary load hdb table data and once again i will get the syntax from here in the tutorial but it is like our other one we're going to give it the target database table name we're going to tell it that we want to load from a csv file named salary csv salary data csv uh, and we don't need to create any mappings because the column names will match exactly based upon how we created the CSV file. So let's go ahead here. We want to get our content onto our local computer. So once again, get that from GitHub. There's our raw data. I will copy it all. And let's go here and create a new file. Text document. Salary data .csv. There we are. And now I'm going to drop the content into this file using a text editor. And that is not what I wanted. <laughs> Let's come back here. I must not have gotten a good I got select all copy now let's put it in here that looks better let's make it a little bigger so you can see it yep lots of data save there's our salary data now we can come here to our loads folder and do an upload file bring in that salary data there it is and there we go now, everything's saved. 
when we deploy this into the database, it should both create this additional table, but also load the initial data into it. There it was creating our table. That looks good. If we want to uh, quickly verify that that worked, I'm a, not a very trusting soul, so I like to, even though I got good messages in the log, I like to just go double check real quick. Let's go ahead and then look at our tables. There's our TG, TGT salaries. And if I do an open data, yes, we have data there. Looks good. So this step is complete. So now we're ready to start creating a calculation view. Uh, so let's go to our SRC folder. And this, we definitely want to use the create database artifact wizard uh, for these more complex artifacts like um, uh, calculation views. We definitely want to use the wizard. So we want to put in a folder named models. Uh, actually, it tells us does not exist. Well, let us create it. All right. New folder. Models. Um, that's fine. Oh, maybe because I was in data. There we are. Now it's happy. Just make sure that the wizard likes your, your destination. Um, and on a cloud. And we want to create a calculation view. Yes. name it make sure I get my name right so it matches my tutorial dollars anonymized we do want a cube and no we don't want to use a star join all right that all looks good so let's go ahead and press create and this will create the calculation view for us doesn't open it automatically. We've got to go find it and open it. But now you see it opening in the well, calculation view editor. And I'm going to close a couple of these other windows just to give me a little bit more screen real estate here. And we can expand parts of the calculation view editor space. I usually like a nice big properties area and I prefer the descriptions. I, I don't do a ton of calculation views myself, so I don't know all the icons by heart, but you can click this little expand arrow and then you, you see the descriptions of the, the different nodes that we can bring in. Um, so what we want to start with is we want a projection node. So just click on projection node and drag it onto the canvas here. That added our projection node. And now we want to add a data source to that node. So we can use the add data source option. Uh, it's going to let us search. So if we do TGT, it's searching our HDI container and looking for artifacts in it. Knows all that based upon our project setup automatically. Um, so there's our TGT salaries. We can select it. We don't need to create a synonym because it's local to our container. And we can just say finish. And that will add it to our calculation view. Now, what we see here is it's already available in the mapping. It shows us uh, all the columns. And what we can do here is just double click on the name and it will add all the columns to the output. Um, we could have also you know, manually brought them over. There's an option up here at, at the top of the menu as well to, uh, to add all the output. I like this little shortcut of just double clicking to add them. So um, that's all we need to do. We're not, uh, we're not doing any complex uh, other configuration here, calculated columns, parameters, or anything like that. This is a pretty straightforward uh, basic projection on, um, on our base table. Now we want to connect this to our aggregation. So to do that, just click on the connect icon, drag it, connect it to the aggregation. Now we can come up to the aggregation level. And once again, we want to add all the columns to the output. So I'll just double click and it brings them all over to the output column. Now we can go up to the semantics. And what you'll see here is, is that the ID and the start year were brought in as measures. 
based upon the uh, the data types but we don't want to do aggregation on them we don't actually want them to be measures we want them to be uh, attributes so just go ahead and select those two columns and then tell it to change them to attributes there we are and the only aggregation that we'll then get will be on the salary all right we can go ahead and save this now and we should go ahead and deploy i'll just deploy here at the root it doesn't really matter only one new artifact and it has created our calculation view and that ends this step in the uh, tutorial in the next step we want to configure the differential privacy and to do that we no longer do that in the calculation view itself but we need to add a sql view on top of the calculation view in order to configure the differential privacy so what we want to do is i'm just going to put it in the same models folder and i'm going to create a sql view i'm just going to call this v salaries hdb view there we are and i'm not going to type all the syntax i will once again use the copy from the tutorial but we'll talk about what it's doing so we're creating a view called v salaries it will have these columns in it it will be based upon a select of the same columns from our calculation view called salaries anonymized and uh it will be a read-only view and we are going to add anonymization to it and this is where we configure the anonymization uh to be a uh, differential privacy and that we want to put it on uh, we want to use the id as uh as a parameter to tell it that it is a sequence uh, the unique id uh but then we want to apply uh the actual anonymization to the salary column and tell it yes it's sensitive data and here is the calculation on how we will uh anonymize it if you want to read more information about these parameters please refer to the sap hana cloud data anonymization guide i will put a link to that in the uh in the description of the video or it is in the original tutorial as well now let me check here uh feature not supported create replace is not applicable to anonymized views i think that is okay yes you will receive that error um that the feature is not supported it is okay it can be safely ignored uh and to just to prove that to you i'll go ahead and save and we will go ahead and deploy this into the database and what you should see is that error and all it's still deployed successfully into the database and if that is really bothering you as it does bother me i can't stand having those red x's i know it's good so i'm just going to go ahead and the problems you and and uh, acknowledge that the that error no longer exists um so now we want to do the rest of this um from the database explorer so let's go back open our hdi container I already had it open here in another tab but i like to show you how to get there just in case and what we can do is we can open a sql console and what we have to do is you do have to issue this command after you create the anonymization you have to once say uh refresh view the salaries anonymization oh there we are let's run that so it has refreshed the view and now we can go to our v salaries view there we are and we can do an open data and what we'll see here is that our salary data has been anonymized if we were to compare it side by side with the original data we would see that uh, the data has been properly anonymized and that really brings us to the end of this tutorial um 
we've seen the basic operations of how to use the graphical calculation view in the business application studio to create a calculation view of type cube and we've seen how to anonymize uh, uh, data in a column using a SQL view and the anonymization algorithms uh, that are provided by SAP HANA. Uh, 